of Moranga University. That's my county, by the way, has innovated an application that allows the voter to track the entire voting process. An idea, he says, will enhance voting among eligible voters as it eliminates hours of queuing on voting days and manipulation of numbers, as well as other election malpractice. Chichi Josephine with more on that story. As the digital space becomes increasingly open to all, innovation is enabling aggressive adopters of technology to add value to existing tools as a way to find sustainable solutions to problems of the world. The ongoing pressure on the government from the opposition to agree to an audit of the 2022 presidential election results has brought a renewed focus on transparency in electoral systems, a situation that has perhaps inspired young innovators to aim to add value to these. Servers have not been opened. When we went to the Supreme Court, our lawyers demanded that we should be given access to the servers. Johnston Karaoke, a 27-year-old mathematics and computer science graduate in Nakuru, has invented what he calls a voter-centered integrated information system that promises a fully free and fair election process, a system he calls the e-election. The application is e-election. It stands for electric election, whereby uchaguzi utakuna fanya kwa mitando instead of the manual system. Johnston Karaoke says his application allows the voter to track the entire voting process. Na kutakuwa na campaign sapo, kutakuwa na nomination sapo, then uchaguzi itafanyika tu wapo kwa yosimu. An idea he says will enhance our voting among voters as it eliminates hours of queuing on voting days and manipulation of numbers. Most of the people are attacking kwenda kupanga the tiny uko kwa nini kwa polling stations. So, uh, second, the, 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 the entire process uh, in a take long sun. But I'm told you asubui na na vote jioni. Then nikona uh, a lot of time in in a tumika kwa kwa sub votes. So nikona apo hivyo kuna gap. There are apo hivyo kuna challenge ya watu kunyanganya votes zao. So I had to come up with a system that itakuwa uh, itakuwa inawaka vizuri for everybody. Uh, from the voter all the way up to the IBC system. Karaoke goes checks his equipment vigilantly every morning. He is alive to possibilities of hacking and however, he assures users of safety. For now, it's a prototype that, that, that Ningependa Sana is embraced by the government. Why by now, since I have the entire idea in theory and, and part of it I've done so that the government can, can, can give me a team so that we can now come up with a system that is bulletproof. But so far, I've done most of the work. The app is equipped with analytical tools that enable advanced machine learning, ability to process hundreds of data points and create a verifiable results. What will be happening, if you want to buy, you just go to the IBC, they will look at your documents if you are uh, eligible to, uh, to, to buy. And then they, they and then they give me your name and then to the application. So anybody that uh, in case you attack Ninani and Ava in your area, you can go your system. A voter will need an identity card number, a password or fingerprint, and a verification code to log in and vote for a desired candidate for each elective position. The rule is you end up on a governor, then on a party, and then you select one candidate. Ukimaiza kuchagua governor, inakupereka kwa senator. Same thing. One party, one candidate. Then unaenda kwa women. Once umemaliza up until kwa MCA, itakuleta a list of all those people that you may select. Ukifeel kwa sawa na whatever you are seen, you just cast your vote. The concept, he says, is tailored to allow a voter to create a full proof account and vote at a place of convenience on the elections day. In this system, we don't need ballot box. We don't, we don't need ballot um, papers. Uh, voting process will take, I'm very sure the entire process will take less than a day because it, it only needs, it only takes you a few seconds to, to cast your vote. Then it's very cheap because we are, we are e budget ya kununua ballot, uh, ballot papers. Your budget, your the tech enthusiast says he is willing 
to share the e-election idea and other ideas with like-minded entities in the tech space and the IEBC in a bid to bridge existing gaps in the election process which trigger mistrust and sometimes conflicts. Wakati tuifanya census, all those people who are above the age of 10 onwards walikuwa around 37 million back in 2019, which means from 2019 to 2020, that's around 8 years. So anyone that was 10 years, atakuwa 18. So atakuwa amefikisha ijia kuvote. So most of the people will vote. So that's why I'm encouraging the government to embrace this system. Uh, plus, it was very cheap because the, the only thing the, the, uh, the only thing the, the government will be needing, yeah, it will be more, more servers only because I kila mtu ya For karaoke, the digital space will be a marketplace of ideas for many decades to come and it is upon people to continuously stimulate ideas about effective use of the fast growing space to make a difference in their lives. The family of jungles. Chichi Josephine, TV 47. A beautiful innovation piece there. Thank you, Chichi Josephine. Let's move on.